control, and C.J. Brown will make sure he won't get another chance. Throwing at the strike. Not good news for the Dallas Burn. Price, good work. Perea, inside. Haynes, Trotman. Back to Rodriguez. Rodriguez looking for Washington. Back post header by Geary. And he's denied by a sliding Zach Thornton. Thornton controlling his area beautifully on that one. Dave Nurse has head that ball down, Chad Deering. A good ball by Rodriguez all the way to the back post. And if he does put a lower, it's going to be more trouble for Thornton. But Thornton really did well to scramble over and get to that back post. Because initially on the cross, he was at the near side. Trotman cleared away by O'Cara. He had Washington in the middle, but he never had a chance to make the pass. Chad Deering is pushed up into the attack. Almost an attacking midfielder. The time winding down the header. Dante Washington off the corner kick for Price. He headed it down. He headed it in. We're tied at two. They're dancing in the stands here at the Cotton Bowl. Off the bench, Dante Washington with his seventh goal of the season. A perfectly delivered from Jason Price right onto the head of Dante Washington. He got up early, he hung up there, and like you said, Phil, he puts it down, which makes it impossible for Zach Thornton to be able to react to it. And Dave Durr's substitution pays off. He wanted to use Washington late to try and ease the pressure on that ailing ankle. Of course, the captain of the Brazil squad in 1970, along with Pelé, that won the World Cup. Outside for Ibsen. Here's Keller. One minute left to go. Should it go to Shreve Chicago win? That one point would clinch home field advantage in the first round. Offside. Ibsen. Free kick. Dallas. Just under 10,000 here at the Cotton Bowl tonight on a Thursday night. They have seen a doozy. Chicago in town, I guess you could call it a barn burner. 2-2. Dallas pushing forward with Pollard. Catches up with the flag. Early ball to the middle for Washington. Touched away by Pogrosny. Hard tackle from Deering. But Keller got there first. And here comes Chicago. Dade with his shirt tug. Well, actually make that Brian Haynes. Here's Rozov with 20 seconds. Deflected away far side. So Haley back saying play on with the advantage. And Mark Dodd keeps it in play with 10. That was three points tonight. Pereira. Dangerous ball for Rodriguez. Goal! Time runs out as Dallas gets the win. What? A finish for the Dallas Burn, and it all started with Mark Dodd at the other end. His extra hustle, when a lot of players would have given up and allowed that game to just run out into the shootout situation. Mark Dodd chased the ball down, got it to Lionel Alvarez, who played the long ball out of the back. Pollard, a part of that play, getting it forward with only seconds remaining. And the hero, Jorge Rodriguez, but for me, the man that made it happen was Mark Dodd. Smiles on the bench. Rodriguez with the goal. His third of the year. And what a goal that will be. That goal right there might end up pushing Dallas into the postseason with one second left. And with the goal coming in the final five minutes, they're supposed to actually stop the clock, which they did. Chicago's already gone into the locker room. <laughs> Somebody has to center it off, and they got to have at least seven players on the field. And they need a ball. That could also come in handy. Chad Deering saying... Chad Deering saying, hey, they're not even out here. And Sahele saying, get over to the side. And well, here's the deal. Dodd had chased the ball all the way into the corner, gives it to Alvarez. Alvarez now played it. 
Look at this. Great hustle by Jorge Rodriguez just to beat Zach Thornton. Barely to it. But Oscar Pereja sends the long ball into Rodriguez. But Mark Dodd starting it, started it by chasing the ball down in the corner and getting it to Alvarez. They touch the ball, time runs out, the fireworks go off, and what fireworks there were, a breath of relief for the burn. Back to wrap it up, 3-2 Dallas, on the news. There's Dodd in the left.